Praise the Lord. My dear friends, our life is the gift of God. We have come from God. Jesus' glorious entry into Jerusalem, the Palm Sunday, is celebrated today. My dear friends, Jesus takes a group of people along with him to Jerusalem. His apostles and the people who came along with him. And of course, the donkey on which he was sitting over. And all of them enter into Jerusalem. Jerusalem is the presence of God. This is the hunger of God. As we read in John's Gospel, chapter 17, verse 21, Jesus prays to the Father, Father, as you and I are one, I want my people to be with me. This is one of the purpose of God, Jesus Christ, that we, the sinners, have to be cleansed with his blood and reach home to heaven to be with him. Yes, that is one of the purposes. My dear friends, in today's gospel, we find Jesus is telling the two of his disciples, go to this particular village and to a particular house. There you will see a donkey and on which nobody has sat over and bring that to me. Yes, the Lord says, I want this donkey for me. And he says, when you tell someone or something that this is needed for the Lord, immediately there may be objections. There are many forces in the world who do not allow people and things to belong to God. And immediately you have to tell them that this is needed for the Lord. This is needed for the Lord. When you say that, they will love you. They will not hold you anymore. Yes. Accordingly, the disciples went and found the donkey and they were untying it because it was tied up. And when they were untying it, the people objected and said, why are you doing it? I said, this is needed for the Lord. And immediately, they were allowed to untie the donkey and brought to the Lord. And the Lord sat over that donkey. And the donkey carried the master and moved as the master directed to enter into Jerusalem. My dear friends, here the spiritual truth is we all of us are needed for our God. Yes, God wants us that we have to go with him. We have to carry him. We have to move with him to Jerusalem. But unfortunately, Jesus is seeing that people are tied up with various problems, various situations. So the Lord Jesus tells Go and bring it to me. You and die. The heart desire of the Lord is, go and bring this son to me, this daughter to me. Yes, you and die. God wants to have us to be with him. This is the heart desire of the Lord. This is the truth. The moment we realize that God is calling me, God wants to be with him. Yes, that's why we read in the Gospel of John chapter 10, verse 17, he says, I lay down my life for my sheep because I will take them back to myself. God wants us to be with him. This is the hard desire of the Lord. But he sees us. We are all tied up. My son, my daughter, where are you tied up? Do you know the truth? That God wants you. The moment you fill your heart with this truth, my God wants me. I am tied up, maybe with my weakness, with my sinfulness, with my debt problems. But the good news is, my God wants me. 
and there will be many obstacles. But then Jesus tells that tell the people who object that the Lord wants it. Yes, when the moment you see I am wanted by the Lord, many of our problems and situation in which we are tied up, we will be released the moment we say that I am wanted by my Lord. Knowing everything of me, my God wants me. My God wants me. My God who made heaven and the earth wants me. Yes, this is the secret David had. He said to Goliath in 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 40 onwards, Goliath, you come with the worldly material of spear and the sword, but I come in the name of the Lord. The Lord is my barrier. He is the one who is in me and he wants me to fight for him. Yes. Whenever people come to us for counseling and prayer for retreats, one of the problem is, I am tied up with this problem. I am tied up with this sin. I don't know how to come out of pornography. I don't know how to come out of masturbation. I don't know how to come out of my sadness. I don't know how to come out of my fear. I don't know how to come out of my dead problems. Yes, you need to tell to yourself, you are not yours. Your God wants you. Your God wants you. you God, your God wants you to be with Him. And the moment you realize this body is not mine, it is belonging to God. And my God wants me with all that I am, knowing everything of my past, present, my God wants me. Keep on feeding yourself with the truth and the truth will set you free. That's what Jesus said in John 8.32. Truth will set you free. 836. If the Son of Man releases you, you are released indeed. When He frees you, you have full freedom. Yes. Now the donkey was untied. The moment it's, it was said, God wants it. Jesus wants it. Nobody could stop it. The enemy will be trying to block you. But the moment you say, I am wanted for my God. I belong to my God. And I am needed for my God. The moment you confess with your mouth, the enemy will run away. You will be untied. The second thing happened is, the donkey offered itself to the master to sit over. Yes. The humility of the donkey to surrender oneself to the master. That's what we read in today's first reading from the book of Isaiah chapter 50. That when I have committed my life for God, I have just surrendered to Him. Let Him do whatever He wants me to do through my life. And the moment we give ourselves into His hands, the Lord does mighty things. And that's what happened in today's second reading from the book of Philippians chapter 2. He says, Jesus humbled Himself to the extent of even dying on the cross. He humbled to the Father. And the Father raised him up. Yes, when you and I surrender ourselves to the Master, it is there we see a Master raise us up. In order to surrender, we need to tell ourselves, I am needed for my God. My God wants me. With that, we have to untie all that has been tied up. And the moment we give ourselves, our Master will sit over us. And he will lead us to the glorious Jerusalem, to the glorious heaven, to the glorious experience of God, to the glorious purpose for which he has created us. And it is there our soul finds rest. My dear friends, on this beautiful day, we not only celebrate the Palm Sunday, the victorious Savior taking the people to Jerusalem. Who are the people Jesus took? We read in the Gospel of John chapter 12, verse 17, people came to know that Jesus raised up Lazarus from death to life. And they all came to see Jesus, saying, He is the Messiah. And coming to Jesus, what did they say? Hosanna! 
to the son of David. What is the Hosanna? Lord, you redeem us. Lord, you save us. We are all tied up. Yes. The second thing we need to do is after feeding ourselves with the truth that my God wants me, the second thing we need to do is, Lord, our Savior, you are our Savior. You are our Master. Redeem us, O Sana, for you are the son of David. You are the one about whom the scripture speaks. You are our Messiah. You are our Savior. And save us. When we acknowledge Jesus as our Lord and Savior, and we tell him like the thief in Luke's Gospel, chapter 23, Jesus, remember me. I am a sinner. Jesus said, today you will be with me in paradise. Yes, you, we need to acknowledge him and give ourselves to him and he will do the needful. My dear friends, thirdly, on this day, we also celebrate that how Jesus filled with the vision of the Father and the great purpose of redeeming the world, he went ahead. He went ahead towards Jerusalem. And when he went, there were many people on the way. Before he entered into Jerusalem, he carried the people, he carried the disciples, he went along with the donkey which was untied. Now, from Jerusalem, he went to Mount Calvary. On this Sunday, we also reflect on the passion of Jesus. Yes. Once he entered into the glory, once he entered into the presence of the Father, it is there you carry the heavy cross and fulfill the purpose of God. In order to fulfill the purpose of God, first we need to enter into Jerusalem. Without entering into Jerusalem, Jesus did not go to Calvary. First he went to Jerusalem. Yes, you and I need to enter into the presence of God. And with the presence of God, we can fulfill the purpose of God in our lives. Because many forces will be attacking us. We read in the book of Exodus, chapter 14, verse 14 onwards, Moses comes and tells, Lord, in front of us, Red Sea, behind the enemies are Egyptians are coming. What shall we do? My presence goes before you. Moses is not convinced. Exodus 14 verse 15. God gave a command to Moses. Go ahead. Go ahead. Trust in me. Go ahead. Many things in your life may not be fulfilled for you. Many answers will not be seen before you. Only all that you have is the word of God. The promise of God. Go ahead. The moment Moses believed in the word of God and obeyed the word of God in humility. When they started to move, the Red Sea gave the way to them. Yes. When we read in the book of First King chapter 19, the prophet Elijah was broken and wounded and he wanted to even die. God sent the angel to feed him. And what did the angel say? Get up and go ahead. Get up and go ahead for your God is going before you. Join with him. What does he do? He gives life and salvation to everybody. Yes, you and I are called not only to enter into Jerusalem, to enter into the presence of God and with the presence of God, joining with the mission of God, we to bring life and salvation to everybody. Yes, Jesus saw the women who were crying in Jerusalem as he carried the cross. He told them, don't cry. Take care of yourself. If the tree is green, it will face any problem. If it is dry up, even a little fire will burn away. Keep up the sap inside the tree, the essence of the tree, the freshness of the tree, the milky power of the tree. Yes, you and I need to carry my God wants me. I belong to my God with that truth. My God has asked me to join with him to redeem the world. That's why he has placed me in problems and struggles. Yes, God has given me the light to lit all the candles without light. Yes, 
you are not a problem you are the solution you move with god and move the world for god yes that's what jesus did wherever he went even though heavy cross was on him he was going on giving life giving life when the great power great vision the purpose for which the father sent you is ruling you nothing will stop you yes the presence of the father and the mission and vision of the father made jesus to move on and jesus is asking us today on our journey also there will be many obstacles many disturbances many people may even trying to harm us as they did to jesus but we need to filled with the presence of god and be filled with the mission for which god has sent us and we have to reach calvary and offer ourselves yes on the cross nothing could separate jesus people humiliated him come down from the cross they said they nailed him they made him naked nothing could take away the father's presence from jesus he continued to give life to everybody father forgive them for those who persecuted him father thief who was humiliating him he kept silent when you are being attacked when you are carrying the vision of god you will not be disturbed you keep silence and when the another thief asked to show him mercy he said today you will be with me in paradise till the end he was always giving life he joined his mother with the disciple he gave life to everybody and then he said father into your hands i commit my spirit yes this is our journey we move with jesus and giving life to everybody on our journey don't be surprised problems will come thorns will come disturbances will come don't allow any of those things to disturb you carry the presence of god carry the thought you are needed for your god god wants you yes and carry the mission of god through you god wants to give you life why should he allow you to go through the problem because only those who are the solution will be allowed to move into the problem only those who have the light can peep through the darkness and lead those who are in darkness you are the one jesus wants you he needs you go with his presence go with the mission god has kept for you and wherever he has placed you move with him with his light and bring life and salvation to everybody reach calvary and the one who raised up jesus from death he will raise you up and give you glory and honor the crown of glory yes lord every day help me to feed myself that i am wanted by my god who made heaven and the earth lord let me be filled with your love lord and help me not only to reach jerusalem to reach your presence and with your presence let me bring for salvation and life to the whole world wherever you send me and continue your mission on this earth lord bless everyone who are listening to this word give them all your peace and may all of their lives be joined with you and fulfill your mission on this earth we make this prayer through christ our lord dear father amen my dear friends we wish all of you a wonderful day of the glorious entry into jerusalem and with his presence let's enter into fulfilling the great mission of god god is with you you are his hope praise the lord my dear friends sangamam plus tv is god's gift for you for our times like comment share and subscribe god will do wonders in your life praise the lord